when someone is still here, but they change so dramatically that it's like they're gone. We don't know if we're grieving and people around us will absolutely tell us that we're not allowed to grieve. What it is that we're grieving anyhow? It's the second category of what we call ambiguous grief. And this video is all about it and how we can help. Hi and welcome back, I'm Shirley. The second category for what Dr. Pauline Boss called ambiguous loss is goodbye without leaving. It's when someone is still here physically, but they change so dramatically that it's like they're not them anymore. So they're here physically, but they're absent psychologically. We hear that a lot from caretakers and relatives of people who have dementia. They're here, but they're also not here anymore. For me personally, it was when my mother developed a mental illness when I was a teenager. And she was there, but it wasn't her anymore. She was not the mother I knew anymore. When we grieve such a loss, People around us tell us that we're not allowed to grieve because they're still here, they're still alive. But we feel that loss, right? These people are essentially gone and what we have left is their image. A unique part of goodbye without leaving is that often there are these moments, these glimmers, when these people that we love and miss so much are like themselves again and we want it to be true and hold so badly and it's rarely the case a very strong example of goodbye without leaving is on criminal minds the second episode of the 15th season when dr spencer reed played by matthew gray Gubler comes to visit his mother, Diana, played by Jane Lynch, at the nursery home. And she has one of those very rare, lucid moments. Spencer, oh, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> Notice the expression on Spencer's face. He did not expect the most important thing to understand is that she's not cured. These improvements are temporary. Addie's right. This is a, like a, a, an aberration or a fluke of my disease. Combined with an atypical response to her new meds. The most important thing this doctor does is tell Spencer and Diana that this is temporary. I know how strange this must be for you. The last time I was here, you didn't know who I was. I'm so sorry, honey. How can we be sure that it won't last? It is very common for relatives and caretakers to want this moment to last and to doubt the coming decline, like Spencer does. Because, as he said towards the end of this scene, It means I'm going to lose you all over again. And losing them over and over again is devastating. But the doctor is doing an incredible job of explaining it and making sure that his best hope is grounded in reality. How can we be sure that it won't last? I can't be sure, but I have seen this before. Awakenings like this, they can last for as little as a few days to as much as several weeks. That part is unpredictable. The part that is predictable is what happens next. This will be followed by a very sudden and very steep decline in cognitive functioning. Do you understand what this means, honey? It means I'm gonna lose you all over again. Oh, please don't look at it like that. Well, how else should I look at it? As precious time for both of us. If anyone outside this relationship would tell them this is a gift, I might have said, 
don't frame it, don't force your opinion. But when Diana says it, she is actually telling Spencer, my best hope of this fluke is to spend more time with you as me, as friend, extended family, family, the best we can do for people who are grieving a goodbye without leaving is validating it. We have to acknowledge it. We're so often we say, hey, they're not dead yet, or you can't say that, but these people are actually grieving a loss because the person they loved is gone and someone else came instead. And in the therapy room, the best we can do is make room to hold both truth. The person is still here and that person is gone. And the fear and the pain of losing them a little bit more every day, over and over again, is absolutely real. So we as therapists have to make sure we can hold both truth so we can help our clients hold both truth. As usual, I am very interested in your experiences and your opinions. Please drop them in the comments. I promise to respond to each and every one. If you need support with your grief, ambiguous or other, please drop me a line and I will do my best to get you the resources you need. Thank you for watching and make this a wonderful day.